Hi, and welcome to another video from Vision Maths. The properties of triangles and quadrilaterals. We'll start off by looking at an irregular triangle labelled A, B and C. And we'll first draw a line through A, B, C parallel to A, C and label it X, Y. Firstly, we should notice that the angle we'll mark with the asterisk should be identical to angle A as their corresponding angles. We should also notice that the angle opposite our asterisk angle on the straight line will also be equal to angle C for the same reason. Because we know all angles within a triangle add up to 180 degrees, and all angles on a straight line are also 180 degrees, then angles ABC, ABX, and CBY will also add up to 180 degrees. In our next example, we'll use another irregular triangle and we'll draw a line parallel to AB. We can see here that our angle P is the same as angle B, and also angle S will be the same as angle A. These are again corresponding angles. Our angle R covers both A and B. Because we know angle P is the same as B and S is the same as A, it follows that P plus S will also be equal to R. Moving on, a quadrilateral is a four-sided irregular shape. However, we can still cut the shape in half from two opposite angles to reveal the two triangles that will make it up. Because we know that all angles within a triangle will equal 180 degrees, A plus B plus C will be 180, and the same for our other triangle, D plus E plus F will also be 180 degrees. If we add the two together, we get 360 degrees in total. Remember, leave your workings out for the extra marks on your exam paper. From this, we know that A plus B plus C plus D plus E plus F is equal to 360 degrees. A regular quadrilateral is a square. We can see that all sides are of equal length. They're all parallel and thus cause each corner to be 90 degrees. We can also cut the squares evenly diagonally and, again, because of the regularity of the square, we also get a 90 degree intersect in the centre where the lines meet. Rectangles are slightly different. Opposite sides are still the same length and parallel, however, they are only symmetrical at 90 degrees and not diagonally. Parallelograms have parallel sides, similar to the rectangle and square, however, the slanted sides means it will have two sets of identical angles with one set always more than 90 degrees and therefore the other set will be less than 90 degrees. A simple kite shape is only symmetrical down the centre and it will feature no parallel lines, however it will have one set of identical and opposite angles. Finally, trapeziums feature only one set of parallel lines and the nature of the shape does not allow for any size to be the same length. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to the channel for more maths videos and check out other videos on angles if any of this remains unclear or visit revisionmaths.com for more revision materials.